lower interfacial water tension beyond that of bulk water, such as in the oil, water, and rice experiment, with phytocompounds that have also been shown to do the same thing. We believe that the effect of combining these two surfactant mimics, structured water and curcumin, is additive. Indeed, we submit that because structured water is literally more hydrating, at least as far as the polymer beads are concerned, that the lowering of interfacial tension, as shown in the oil, water, rice experiment, are physiochemically really two sides of the same coin, since both results rely on the lowering of interfacial tension. So the next time you find yourself doubting whether or not frequency plays a role in biology, pinch yourself by thinking back to Montagnier. It has also long been known that just as some frequencies can promote growth, repair, and order in biology, so too can frequencies cause harm. Even relatively low energy non-ionizing radiation of the right frequency such as those emitted by mobile phones and other wireless devices, have been shown to cause genetic damage in the laboratory. Robert O. Becker wrote two seminal books on the subject. Warning, Becker is not for the faint of heart, and if you really want to lose some sleep, read up on Dr. Jack Cruz, a brilliant synthesizer of quantum biology, who pulls together Ling, Pollock, Becker, and many others, in a quantum cautionary tale of our brave new frequency world and what countermeasures we can take to combat its influence. After my presentation in Varna, I was approached by a distinguished German-American gentleman who claimed to possess a natural spring water with unusual benefits. He explained to me that he observed many similar effects with his water as with mine. Accelerated plant growth, reduced spoilage of cut flowers, and the reduced oxidation of phytocompounds suspended in his water. His most peculiar claim was that when a small amount of his water was added to ultra-high temperature milk, it spontaneously formed cheese in the bottle after being left in the refrigerator for just three days. Somehow, his water reanimated microbiological activity in milk treated with high heat. Perhaps the most purging aspect of this spring water was indeed the extremely slow rate of oxidation of phyto compounds mixed with it. The photo shows from left to right tap water, mineral water, and this special spring water mixed with a preparation of curcumin. Note how much more yellow the spring water appears compared to the relative browning of the other two. I have personally repeated these same experiments, and it is a real effect. There are thousands of studies on the health benefits of curcumin. Sadly, curcumin has not lived up to its theoretical potential as an antioxidant and anti-cancer therapy, owing to poor absorption. We also suspect that rapid oxidation certainly does not help the uptake and utilization of curcumin. This gentleman asked me if I would be willing to structure his water to see if we could further enhance his special water mixed with curcumin, and I agreed. We then fed this water to a small dog diagnosed with advanced cancer with the following outcome.
There is still much to learn about water and its role in biology, but we are gratified by this result along with a growing body of positive feedback from both humans and their furry loved ones. As Rupert Sheldrake likes to say, the plural of anecdote is data, after all.